I believe that there is a big crash in crypto on the horizon and I'm going to dig into why I believe this and what I'm going to do to keep myself and my investment safe moving forward. All right, let's get to it. So we're going to start here on coin market cap the total market cap of crypto globally is up 1.67% at the time of recording standing at 2.64 trillion dollars and bitcoin at 69,936.91 up 2.21% today in the past 24 hours but up 11.87% in the past 7 days ethereum at 3,942 38 up 0.7 percent in the past 24 hours but 14.68 percent in the last seven days so look uh stocks crypto there are all-time highs and you know there looks like there's no sign of stopping with bitcoin whales still not selling their positions even though bitcoin is pretty much at a new all-time high around the 70k mark um just under at the moment as i record this video like it does make you wonder now i believe that there is a crash on the horizon and you know it's not going to be a small crash either but i do think that it's going to be quick when it comes to crypto seeing the bottom come in uh relatively fast and you know actually over a matter of days we start to move on out of it uh, i've kind of been on the record saying this for for some time that we expect a fed pivot and a crash and actually um jerome powell has now come out and said that basically they are looking to um, reduce interest rates uh, very, very soon. Um, so, you know, this is a sign of, you know, what we've been talking about for some time actually coming to fruition. Now, look, I don't think there's anybody in the crypto space that could have predicted the moves that Bitcoin has has made over the last few months. Uh, obviously, you've got pockets of people that, in the crypto space i say pockets of people influencers in the crypto space that are just always bullish and they're going to look like they're amazing uh, but many of these people were wrong you know throughout 2022 you know they've said the, the bottoms in many many times um, and a lot of people are just really not looking at the bigger picture you know the economic aspect of things around the world is not good savings are at all-time low um you know um debts are at all-time high and you know people are remortgaging onto you know mortgages that are double the interest rate of what they were currently on so you know most of these individuals around the world are paycheck to paycheck as well so you know lots of people are going to have to sell their homes i'm expecting crashes in in property and so on right um what's really really interesting nobody has a crystal ball is you know what is going to happen when it comes to bitcoin with all this institutional uh, money from blackrock and you know jp morgan and uh, ark invest and all these uh, big institutions uh, with the bitcoin spot etfs what's really interesting is what's going to happen are we going to see that big pullback for bitcoin as well it's going to be interesting or is because you know is it going to hold up because of the lack of supply and the demand that's there it's going to be really interesting to see nobody really knows the answer to this but why am i saying that the fed pivot is um something that we should be really really worried about when it comes to our crypto investments well that's because every single time the fed pivots um and you look at this against the stock market and i think that crypto and stocks are correlated um, you do see a major decline now what i would say is you also see the parabolic moves to the upside that we're seeing in stocks and crypto in the lead up to the fed pivot so you know if we go back to the 1960s you know we saw a 36 uh, percent drop after the fed pivot a 48 percent in the 1970s we saw a 27 percent in like the the 80s uh, and in 2000s minus 51 percent after the fed pivot uh, and then um we've got again in the 2000s another 58 percent uh drop after a fed pivot and then you know 
going into to you know 2010 2020 we have a 35 percent drop after the fed pivot now what has happened and you'll see that in these charts is these um lengths of the crash are getting smaller and smaller and i think that's what's going to play out when it comes to crypto i'm expecting a huge crash of over 50 percent for uh crypto projects now like a lot of people um have been sat on the sidelines because we've been talking about this for for a long time you know a fed pivot and a crash we've always kind of been quite clear that our expectations for over 12 months have been that we would see the fed pivot q3 of 2024 now it might be a little bit earlier you know with uh the, the fed jeremy Powell coming out and saying this recently um but you know timing's the hardest part right and um what i would say is throughout this 12 month period nick and myself and jb and and you know people in our team have still been dollar cost averaging because you never know what's going to happen in this space i still have about 20 25 percent of uh, my initial investment on the side for the crash i think this will be the last opportunity to get in uh, if you you know agree with this disagree with this let me know in the comments below uh if you really want to support our channel, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, tap that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. This would really help uh, the, the channel out. And um, yeah, I think that we're actually going to save a lot of people. If you're looking to invest in, in crypto uh, or Bitcoin, for example, you know, I'd be really looking for, you know, seed rounds, private round sales. And we do those. So check out our free Discord link is in the description of the video uh, because they have the most upside because they're you know fresh out of the gate but i would also be um, looking at projects with you know good value the ones that haven't moved just yet and there are still a few altcoins that haven't moved um but would i personally be buying bitcoin at 70k plus no if you followed uh our channel and uh, you know you're a member you would know all of our buys i bought bitcoin at fifteen thousand eight hundred and thirty six dollars um, which looks like an absolutely amazing deal right now. Um, so, yeah, look, for, for me, how am I going to navigate this? I'm going to wait until we're into the new uh, financial tax year here in the UK, and uh, I'm going to be looking to take some profits off the table. I like to dollar cost average into the market. I like to dollar cost average out of the market. How do I do this? I dollar cost average on the red days into the market, and I dollar cost average out of the market on green days so moving on we go and have a look at revolut revolut enables crypto purchases direct into metamask wallets i think there's some really interested and innovative new features when it comes to revolut i am going to be signing up not endorsed uh, by revolut in any way i just thought this was really really cool that they've partnered with metamask i think that this is a huge uh move forward when it comes to um revolut so definitely worth checking that out we've got larry fink bets bitcoin etfs are just the beginning as wall street eyes 10 trillion tokenization play now this is something nick and myself have been talking since 2020 about right we believe and have always believed uh, you know since the inception of this channel that we should be expecting everything to be tokenized and on the blockchain that would be the stock market everything all of the money on to the blockchain and i think that larry fink is um you know he's all over it and um you know we're starting to to really see you know big money start to come in and see the power of blockchain and I think that real world assets are going to be a really big um, narrative this bull market. So, you know, look at like projects like Gogito and, and others uh, in the real world asset sort of uh, sector. I think it's going to do really, really well. Um, the next one that I wanted to, to sort of talk about is the Bitcoin halving. It's getting near now. Miners need to prepare according to Fidelity. And basically what they're saying here is they need to really improve the infrastructure. They need to be prepared. Uh, obviously, you know, they need to do all of this in order to be able to be profitable. So look, we're already seeing uh, pockets of this um, take place and um, you know, happen when it comes to, to miners. And yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting, right? That supply shrinkage 
with you know the demand as high as it is is going to be really really interesting for bitcoin now i want to be really really clear i'm not selling bitcoin at under eighty thousand dollars i think that you know we're easily going to surpass one hundred thousand dollar bitcoin in this bull market but i am concerned about the pullback the crash um at the fed pivot so i will probably be looking to dollar cost average out of the market uh, somewhere between april and um q3 so yeah look i think that this is uh something that people should be acknowledging it's always good to take profits in a bull market you don't want to be left holding the bag we've got bitcoin miners return invest above one billion dollars on equipment purchases this is again is a little bit uh linked to, to what we see uh advised by fidelity they have to do this in order to you know stay profitable uh, i wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these bitcoin miners move to you know areas of the world where it's cheaper uh to to basically you know utilize energy uh, and it's going to be really interesting to see how uh green and friendly um they they become over time we've got um how bitcoin trading fen uh, frenzy almost depleted a vault in dow maker uh, or maker dow i should say uh, when it comes to to the amount of uh bitcoin that you know is being bought up at the moment we always talk about this dynamic between um, the uh, supply and the demand. It is so um, evident right now that the um, the supply is very, very limited, and the demand uh, demand is so high. And we haven't even got the average Joe's coming back into crypto just yet. So look, I think that. You know we've got a long way to to go up in price value for bitcoin um but at the same time i'd be looking at the um the risk ratio to purchasing bitcoin at the moment there's more downside than there is upside um you know for for 2024 at this stage in my opinion let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comments below really interested to get your views and opinions do subscribe it really does support us and the channel growth we really do appreciate that and uh, you know make sure that you're hitting that notification bell selecting all the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos because we're going to be doing lots of educational stuff over the next few weeks and months to keep you you know up to speed with everything that's going on in crypto but more importantly so you don't you know fall foul i guess of being those individuals that end up holding the bag once everybody else is out i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i will catch you in the next one